Hi everyone, it's Dawn and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Can you imagine you booked all your travel, you're all set, you're heading across country, you're heading to your destination, say you're heading to a cruise in Southampton and you get up in the morning and you found out your airline just went under. That's right, WOW Airlines, an Icelandic airline has just gone under. They are best known for having very cheap flights with a very cheerful atmosphere. They're bright purple planes and the uniforms are all in purple and all their pictures are everyone smiling and it's made for economy and they have basically flights flying back and forth between Iceland. They have some UK destinations, some Spain, uh, but they're best known for their very cheap flights from North America to the UK to Britain and uh, some of those flights going for as low as $99. And the way they achieved this was they would fly from say Europe to Iceland and then from Iceland to North America so they would have a layover halfway which allowed them to use smaller more economical planes that are cheaper on fuel and they were able to offer their prices at a much lower rate. Great that's fantastic but their business plan was a little bit flawed and they were sort of well sorry their business plan wasn't really flawed it's just that it grew too quickly. It was established back in 2011 and it was kind of a victim of its own success. It grew so quickly people wanted to use this flight. In fact, a lot of people would take the flights from the UK to Iceland and have a long, long layover or even spend the night and then fly to North America the next day or vice versa so they could visit Reykjavik where the airport was located. And there's a lot of great scenery in Iceland. Uh, you have the very, very beautiful Blue Lagoon, which is really famous in Iceland. You have the geysers, you have the coast. It's just a beautiful place, especially for like if you have a layover city. That's, that's a great location. So a lot of passengers took advantage of that and it actually helped boost the tourism industry over the past six years. So what went wrong? Well, the trouble is Britain and Iceland during the winter months don't have a lot of people flying in and out. Uh, you know, the cruise ships leave, you know, uh, people are wearing coats. You're not, you're not traveling in the winter time. You're not heading to the cold climate. So they didn't have, they grew so much and they have so many employees and so many planes that they just didn't have the finances to hold them over during the lean winter years when the travel goes down. During the summer they were booked solid. In fact they were still taking bookings up to 18 hours before they shut down. You could still buy tickets. So this comes not as a big surprise because the founder and basically the only shareholder was trying to negotiate with uh, Icelandic Air to see if they could partnership with them. They tried to get North American investors. They tried to take the people who they had accumulated debt with if they would take shares and switch the debt to shares and after all that failed they finally had to fold down and it when any airline folds down it just causes a ripple effect. So you have people who have already booked your flights and everything and now in fact some people were stranded in the middle of their flights because there was no plane waiting there for their transfers or they got to the airport there's no plane coming. So a lot of people who also paid their tickets in advance are going to have a hard time getting your money back. Your really only recourse is if you've paid by credit card and you can get your money back from your guarantee on your credit cards. Other than that you could be out that money. Uh, but one of the biggest tragedies even if people are stranded you know and it, you know, can you imagine you're heading to a cruise and you have a, you know, a stopover from Iceland into Southampton, your cruise leaves the next day and you get to Iceland and you get off the plane and your airline goes under and you, you don't have a transfer anymore. You have to scramble and see if you can find a flight. 
you know, nightmares can happen. Uh, I'm sure we're going to hear a lot of these stories coming out in the next few days. However, one of the biggest tragedies is a thousand employees with WOW Airlines lost their jobs like today. That's it. You're gone. There's no more. They've closed their doors. A lot of employees left completely in the dark, not knowing what, you know, they show up for work the next day and there's nothing. Uh, they hear it on the news themselves. Uh, there was, you know, announcements went out to some of the employees, but it didn't get to everybody. Um, pilots, stewardesses, uh, air traffic you know, people doing the luggage, people in customer service, people answering phones, booking. It just, it's, it's a tragedy. And in fact, last year, uh, the government of Iceland was warning that if WOW Airlines went under, their GDP could drop by as much as 3% and the Icelandic dollar could drop by 13% overnight if this happened because they, they're only a country of 350,000 people and if you lose a thousand people of those jobs that's that's an awful lot of people jobs lost just like that in a small country it's not like they have a huge industry that they can back up not to mention how this will affect the tourism industry as well so this could have ramifications going on for quite a while it's just it's not a great story when people lose their jobs and things go under uh, and it's hard to almost imagine that the reason they went under is because they became so successful. It's, uh, it's just one of those things where it's hard to turn down work, but then, uh, you know, all of a sudden there's lean months coming up and you don't have the income anymore to sustain it. So it's kind of a very sad story. I hope you're not one of the people out there that were stranded by this. And uh, if you're one of the people who lost their jobs with the airline, really sorry to see this go. It was, it actually is a really good business model. Um, they were doing really well as far as when the busy season was there. Trouble is you, they just, they just couldn't sustain it. So. Well, I hope you liked this update. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You want to see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world? Hit that subscribe button. Till next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation.